Yeah, I know y'all see us. Hey. What's up, girl? Hey. Hey, cousin. What's going on? Erica, you need to come back to town. I know. We're tired of you being gone. You've been gone for half a year. We miss you. <laughs> come on in, folks. Erica, share this live for us, man. Get some people on here. Share it, share it, share it. We got some news to give out. Everybody share, share, share. Put your hands up in the air. <laughs> Share, okay, share. We got three, we got three. We miss you too. We miss you too, girl. You know we love you. Share, share, share. Five people. We got five. Come on in, y'all. Hey, everybody, share this live. We got some news, and we want you guys to, um, your advice, your opinion, uh, for something that we're planning. So just share this live. Mm -hmm. Share it to your family. Share it to your friends. Share it to your enemies. I don't care who you share it to. Just share it. <laughs> Share it to everybody. Just like, share it. See this wave. Y'all let us know where y'all tuning tuning in from. Type in your city. Where you tuning in from? Where your city? What's your city? Yes, sir. Wake the city up, y'all. Come on. Tune in, tune in. We got eight people on here. Everybody indoors all day. You should have a lot of energy. Hey, you're not going out. Share this live. Not the pony and my girl is glowing. Yes. <laughs> Jaleesa, what's up, girl? Been a long time, classmate. Gotta try a little Hawaii. Little new, new. Girl, we got Hawaii in the house. Hawaii, okay. okay hey, okay, Hawaii, okay. Sarasota, okay. Okay. Erica, we know where you at. <laughs> hey, we got some good news for y'all, man. Y'all share this live. Share it to your family, your friends, your relatives. Share, 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 share. share. Get people on here, man. We got some news. We want you guys' advice. We're going to give a shout out to a special man in our lives today. Share with know who I'm talking about. Oh, okay. You know, your father. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, wait till we get started. Share, 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 share. Sarasota, Hawaii in the house. Come on now. We all, where everybody else at? Come on in, come on in. Come on we in. We got some time. news to share with y'all. Mm, 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 mm. We got some news to share with y'all. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. We're going to give about five more minutes. We're going to just go and start talking. We got Hopefully, some people news will come in. To share with y'all. That's me. Hit it, babe. Nah, that singing ain't for me. I can't sing. <laughs> All y'all would go to hell if I sung. <laughs> What's going on? So who we got here tuning in? Miss Miss Nell is in here. Hey, hey, hey Miss Nell, how you doing? We got five viewers. About four more minutes. We gonna get started. Get started. Some people said they'll watch the replay later. Hey, you got six, and I'm coming back up. Gonna get back up to that twenty, y'all. Share this live. Share it to your family. Share it to your friends. Let them know that the Rogers is is on right now. We got some information to give you guys. God's plan is on. Yeah, mine look a little faded, you know, this is the original shirt here. Been but wearing it out, y'all. Been wearing it out, y'all. In the yard, more yard, sleeping in it. Hey. Doing everything. Hey, listen, I know I keep repeating this, but share this live. Get the people on. Let them know what we're doing. We got some exciting news. I know you guys have been saying so much information about us, but we just want to bring it and hone it in to you guys so you guys can understand what it is. Um, we're so excited about it. We're excited that you're going to be joining in with us. We're excited that you are tuning in with us today. Yes. So, hey, it's an awesome time. God is still in the blessing business. Don't yes, forget it that. Don't ever forget that. Thank you, Jaleesa. Yeah, this girl, you know, she's my hype person, so, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, we got some good stuff coming in, you know. Um, uh, we pray that you guys got some amazing things going on in your lives, most importantly. Um, as you guys do well, we do well. We like to see others become better and greater through our works, you know. Yes. We're just an instrument to God that he's using us in a mighty way in this season. So we're looking forward to this. Hey, three more minutes, we're going to get started. But listen, for everybody that's new tuning in, share this live to family, friends, relatives, your enemies, share it to your kids. This is going to be PG-13. It ain't crazy. Right, right. <laughs> uh, of course, this is Shelby and Rodney Rogers in case some people are sharing it and you don't know us. No, you see Ms. Nell said we woke up. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you 
glad we waking. Yeah, come on out, Miss Nell. Come on this in. This ain't gonna last but like thirty minutes. We gonna keep y'all long. Right, we won't keep you too long. And we are the owners of God's Plans Ministries Incorporated. Okay, so y'all share, 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 because we got some good news. Come on in. Come on in. Share this, Miss Nell. Share this for Jaleesa. Share this for hey, if you Jaleesa. haven't already. Erica, share this for it if you haven't already. Hey, we see a couple of people on. Don't be trying to hide yourself. Tell us where you're coming in from. We want to know. We want to know. We want to know. We may be giving away something special if you just, hey, let us know where you're coming from. You my, never know what we got up our sleeve. So, hey, share this live. Let people know we're here. Hey, um, we're enjoying this. Uh, two more minutes. We're going to get on. Hey, Jalen, what's up, brother? Hey, Jalen. Jalen, Minister Jalen. What's going on, man? Been a long time since I seen you. I think the last time I saw Jalen when we was at the little uh, youth event at uh, Eastside, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, Eastside. So it's been Ooh, over that almost was back a year. In March. Man, yeah, COVID had just hit when we yep. did that um, conference in What's March. up, brother? We love you, man. Yeah, I'm glad we got it in, though. Y'all, two more minutes. We're going to get started. Two more minutes. Hey, Jalen, share this, man. Let the people in West Point, LaGrange, LaFette, West Point, Columbus, if you know somebody there. Go, go up your way, down your way, Tifton. Well, Tifton ain't on here yet, so. Okay. Uh, who else down there in Tifton? Omega. 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 Omega, Georgia. Omega. Cordill. Hey. Valdosta. Yeah, that's all my area, doesn't it? You get toe up down that way. Valdosta, what's up? All right, Atlanta. guys, listen. We're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to pray the rest comes on in. Again, share this live. To whoever you know, share it on your Facebook Live, share it on your Instagram. If you got it connected, share it to your business account, share it to groups. Let mm -hmm. them know, hey, that we're here. Hey, Ashley, what's up? What's hey, up, sister? There she go. Hey, Ashley. Tea time, share this, girl. Share this. Tipping in the house. Oh, share this so everybody can see it. What's up? Columbus, what's up? Where Pond? <laughs> what's up? Where's up? Where's up? Where's up? So listen, guys. Hey, first off, we would just we just want to say thank you guys for coming in. We just decided to do this last minute, but we thought that you guys to see our pretty faces. You know, we don't get along as much, but you will see us more often. Um, this is part of our ministry as a, as a married couple to show the love, show the yes. energy, show what God is doing through us, um, show what God is going through us and the plans that we have for the future for our ministry and for God's people. Amen. Um, so listen, the first thing we want to do, we want to shout out our, um, well, not our, but my father-in-law and her father, what, 62nd birthday? Yeah. He turned 62 birthday, today. Daddy. So, listen, y'all, shout him out. If you see him on Facebook, if you see him. Pastor Michael T. Stiggers of West Point, George. If you see him in West Point, sit him down for about 15 minutes because he need to rest. He's going all the time. Yes, he go, go, go. Sit him down. down. Please, sit him down pull for out, a minute. Pull out the Bible. Start talking about that. He'll sit down and talk to you. <laughs> Tell him you need some counseling. He's definitely going to talk to you. So, listen. Y'all give him a shout out. It's awesome, man. We love him. Um, right. he's, he's getting older, but hey, as he gets older, he's getting younger in spirit. So hey, guys, oh, yeah. give him that. So, um, but listen, so we want to come on in here, just give you guys, uh, you know, like this announcement. You guys probably have been sending our flyers and stuff about the Love Theory Relationship Panel. Um, this is, uh, we kind of dedicating it more towards millennials, but if you're single, you're engaged, you're married, if you're a baby boomer, if right. you're a Generation Z, a millennial girl, come on, You've been tune mar in. Married longer than you know everyone else, 30, 40, 50 plus years. Right. Y'all can drop some knowledge in there too. So yeah, come on right, in. Right. So we're gonna be discussing about intimacy, finance. We're gonna throw some sets in there, I mean, which is part of the intimacy. Look, look pleasure, you know, look pain pleasure, and pleasure. You know, you know, you know. got to talk about the ups and downs. <laughs> yes. Just because we are married, don't mean we can't have fun. You know. Right. Right. And also, we got some special guests coming on, man. Now that's the biggest part I'm, I'm excited about. Um, these, these, uh, these panelists, they are awesome. They are very, um, they are very educated in this ministry. They are very in tune with God. They live a life of God. They're they're educated, not just in their experience in life, but in books, in colleges, in their education, you know. Um, so, hey, we're going to have, um, the first guest we're going to have is Jeffrey Golden. You guys know him from um, from Sunday's Best. Um, yes. He's going to be doing a solo for us on this panel set. Yes. So you guys definitely want to miss that voice of God. He's anointed. Oh. He's powerful. We're excited to he's have him on. Coming to set the atmosphere, guys, because if, if you don't know anything else about marriage, you got to put God first. You got to. When you get that that time alone with your with your spouse, um, just having worship right. with your spouse can be very intimate too. So we want to make sure that we set the tone right, right by right. letting him do his thing with praise and worship. You got to set in the atmosphere. You got to allow the Holy Spirit to come in into this panel. The reason is when the Holy Spirit comes in, 
truth comes out, but it's in the love, right? Not right. in hate. And right. it's, it's going to be an honest word from God, right? But we're going to, you know. Hey, Rich. Richard, what's up, brother? Hey, matter of fact, before we go in the Father, Richard Gibbs, man, this is my brother, my spiritual son. My, Listen. Yeah, he's say he's an uncle too. He's an uncle. He's, he's all the spiritual above. Uncle. Listen, hey, I love this man to death, man. I'm so grateful that he, he, he has come in my life. I mentor you, this young man. You know, sometimes we get angry with each other, you know, but hey, listen. That's we, what friendship is. It is all about, man. Yeah. When truth comes out, hey, we edify each other, we comfort each other, we build right. each other up. So, you know, right. hey, brother, I love you, man. And um, he's going to be the moderator of the event, man. Yes. So, we're also, without you, this would not have happened, man. So, right. I'm going to let the people know. Without you, this would have not happened. He coordinated man. all this, this, collaborated and everything, and we're just so blessed to be a part of it. Amen, amen. We love you, brother. But yeah, so back to what we were saying, man. Jeffrey Golden, he's going to come in and set in the atmosphere. He's going to sing a, a song for about five or two, ten minutes in the beginning. Um, you guys don't want to miss it. You know who he is. He's from Sunday's Best. We got to hype him up. And this guy, his, his gift and his works has, as Ashley speaks volumes on too, who he is and what he has done in the body of Christ. Yes. We're excited to have him on. And the next set of guests we're going to have on is Michael Stampley and his wife. Heidi Stampley. And Heidi Stampley. That's right. Yes. Like Michael and Heidi Stampley are coming on. Michael Stampley is a world-renowned gospel singer, awesome man of God. He's anointed. He's yes. a prophet. He, he may not know that I know that, but he's anointed. Um, man, listen, this is me. My, um, we just really meet these people. It's going to be the first time we meet them. Um, they're, uh, they're, I'm excited to have them on. Such a voice, such an anointed voice, a mm -hmm. voice that just not only reaches in the United States, but across the world, across yes. the nation, you know, yes. so we're excited to have him, and go ahead and tell us about the, you know, my, uh, this, this, this lovely married couple that other panelists are going to be on as well. Yes, our third panelist is going to be Dr. Uh, Aljuan Tar and his beautiful wife, Mecca Tar. They are a power couple, okay, they are not a force to be reckoned with, um, but they are beautifully... They, they are just a beautiful couple and, of course, made in God's image. They're all about um, bringing knowledge on health, mental health. Um, and he's a, he's a, um, he's a celebrity psychologist. Um, psychologist, so he works with a lot of celebrity artists. I mean, it, yeah, celebrity artists um, with their daily lives. Um, You've probably seen, seen him on some shows, too, and marriage as well. Counseling so. and things. Yes, he's been featured on a couple of uh, shows that have been all over you know, uh, the TV stations and everything. Um, and his wife, I love her dearly, man, because I've been joining in her on her wives, seven day challenges that she's been having all COVID long. And I'm telling you, <laughs> she is really, she is really breaking some strongholds and dropping some knowledge with all her guest speakers that are speaking to wives. It doesn't well, wives and single women. So, um, but she's really a, um, she's really a powerhouse when it comes to, um, motivating the the woman and empowering women and things like that. And so so we're so grateful to have her and her husband on with. And let's us. not forget, Doctor Tart. Not only is he a doctor, he's a psychologist. He's also a minister, minister and an yes. author. So he's truly he hey, he's like the he's like the triple effect. This man has it all. You know, he's anointed. He's powerful, and he's a loving man. I can see that in his spirit. And listen, guys. Guys, please tune in. That would be December 22nd from mm -hmm. 7 to 9 p.m. You can go on... Um, hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. What's up, man? You can go on Eventbrite and search Love Theory Relationship Panel. We should be the first flyer that you see come up, guys, and register. And also, just to let you know, this this whole, this whole this program is not for just monetary gain for me or my wife or for them, right? But... We are we also are going to be giving some of the proceeds back to a nonprofit organization, right? Mm -hmm. Especially during this season of COVID and the holidays are coming up. People need help. People need assistance, right? Mm -hmm. And that's where some of the proceeds are going to be going, uh, of course. And some is going to go back into the ministry itself to help others as well. As you guys know, we give all the time. We always sow seeds into others' lives. We always right. want to be a help to, you, you know, you know, especially with the Youth Camp Foundation, right? Mm -hmm. That we have that um, that edifies kids, is build them up, train them, develop them in the ways that the Lord wants them to be in regards to their purpose. So listen, man, this is just not about us. Don't look at this, you know. You know, don't look at the panel and just say, "Hey, Rodney and Shelby, they they doing big things." This is it's not about that, right? right it's, not. it's truly not about that. All these connections and relationships that has been created is honestly by God Himself. He had allowed it to happen. Yes. If it wasn't ordained by Him, it would never happen today. Right, so we're truly excited about it. Um, Hunter, what's up, man? How you doing, brother? Hey, 
you know, we're truly excited about it. Uh, and they're going to really give you some substance. So if you can just tune in, tune in with us for that hour and a half to two hours, man. You guys are going to leave with some impactful information. And not only that, you're going to receive some connections through them through what their platforms have, right? This is just not about life. us. We're only, we're only serving in our ministry as God wants us to be, right? But they have other dynamic ways that God is using them. And I'm, and I, and I'm telling you to get in, in touch with them. Go follow them. Go on their Instagram pages, their Facebook pages. Follow them because they have a platform as well that is doing some awesome things. They're delivering right. people. They're healing people. They're yes. giving people a, a, you know, um, a path of life. Uh, they give you perspective in ways that you may not even have known or what we may not have presented to you guys, right? Mm -hmm. But we really want to do this in love. We want you involved heavily in this. And um, if you guys can, we're going to be continuing to, you know, to, you know, to share these flowers throughout the month as right. well. The entire month. The entire month. So you're going to see it. You probably get tired of it. But it's not just about the money, but it's truly about helping millennial couples, yes. uh, baby boomers. Thrive. Um, generations used to thrive in relationships, period, from marriage, from engagement to singles, right? We're going to teach you how to live a life according to God's will and do it in a way that is going to be fun and exciting for you, right? right. So um, we're excited about that. And um, what, else you, what else you want to talk about, babe? We got some, you know? Well, I wanted to put it out there in the open um, <clears throat> for people to inbox us or you can type in the comments right now what type of questions you would like to um, have answered at this panel um, because we want to make sure that, you know, we're answering right. uh, questions that are going to be beneficial. We want to make sure that we have a variety of things to talk about and speak on. Right. So if anything comes to mind, then you all please inbox us, hit us up on either, you know, our social media platforms on Instagram yeah. or on Facebook or just our individual inboxes. And also, and also you can email us at God's plan men at gmail.com. That is G O D S M I N P L A N at gmail.com. God's yes. plan men at gmail.com. And we check our emails every day. So, um, if you send something, some questions, we'll send you a quick response back. Right. Letting, hey, you Paul. Know, hey, Paul Sam, what's up, bro? Um, you know, letting you know that we have received it, but we really want your input, right? Because this is for you, not for us, right? right. Um, we're going to receive edification as well from the other panelists, because they, they're going to be bringing perspectives that we never experienced, right? Yes. So we're all going to get fed. We're all going to get noticed on some things, right? And also, at the end of it, we're going to have Q&A. We're going to allow you guys to send questions in the comments that we're going to answer for you to help you in your marriages, to help you in your relationships, right? Right. No matter, no matter the dynamic of a single single relationship, an engaged relationship, or married relationship, we're going to help because we all have been, we all live in those stages before. Yes, we so, um, so we're going to be doing that. Um, also, we just want to tell you how God, how good God has been to us, man. I mean, we're in, in this pandemic. It's, it's been a lot of things going on in the world. And, and, um, and honestly, this is, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I want to give you the, well, I, I would like my wife to give you the dream on, on what we experienced. Uh, remember the dream you had when I... Matter of fact, I'm, I'm, I'm going to begin it and then when I, when I tell her, she'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So, he always put me on the spot, So y listen, y'all. So, I, and, and, and this is just a testimony to, to yes. what's going on, right? Yes, of course. And, and this is not boastful. This is just is really to show you guys, to show you that God is still moving in this season, right? But I remember one day, about two, three months ago, no, about four months ago, I went in my prayer closet at my last home that, at the townhouse we had before and I was praying to God and I prayed for about 30 minutes. And towards the end of the prayer, the Lord would not let me leave the closet. He kept talking to me, speaking to me. And the last word he the last words he gave me was, he said, pray for your wife. And I said, well, Lord, what do you want me to pray for? Because I don't pray at God. I pray with God on what he wants, right? Mm -hmm. So when I prayed, I said, the Lord and the Holy Spirit gave me a word. He said, pray that your wife sees what I have been showing you in the spirit on what's coming, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to turn it over to her. And boom. Go Lord ahead. Lord have mercy. Yes. So this this is the testimony of all testimonies. And I've never had a dream that was so clear. But he 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 didn't tell me until the day after I had had the dream. Of course, I mean, was well, the day that I... Yeah. So he basically asked God one day, let's say on a Monday. And then the next day on Tuesday, that's when he told me what he had prayed for. But um, Tuesday, I was so eager to tell him about it. But that Monday night, I had a dream. And um, what was happening was, first of all, it had to be something that was predicting that it was going to happen in this time frame that we are in, in 2020. Because it was me and Rodney and, of course, our three children 
in our truck. If y'all have seen our little white truck, it's a, a Mitsubishi Outlander. So we was in, we were in our car driving down the highway. It was down the interstate, like 75 or something. I think we was even going towards my parents' home in West Point. And then as we were driving, and oh, well, I have to say this. I was actually sitting, because we have three, ro three rows in our truck. So Rodney was, um, he was on the passenger side. Right. Yeah, Rodney was on the passenger side. Nobody was in the driver's seat. And the children, two were on the middle seat. And then me and like RJ were in the back on the third row seat. So that's already a hallelujah right there. Like somebody else was driving the seat. Couldn't be nobody but God, the Definitely Holy fun. Spirit, or someone driving the car at that time. So we're driving down the interstate. And then all of a sudden there was this big transfer truck that started like swerving all over the interstate. And so, of course, I was in the back like, oh, God, you know, hold on, y'all, you know, or babe, you know, let's slow down. You know, I, I just remember the facial expression was like, hold on, you know, uh, almost in a panic. And the truck started swerving back and forth. And then it started spiraling. It started flipping over and over and over. And it was banging up against the wall. So, like, you know, the uh, the sound barriers that are along the highway, all of those started falling down all in the interstate. But for some reason, our car, it didn't flinch at all. We kept driving. And we were swerving around like everything was falling beside us. But it was missing us. Everything was missing us. So we kept driving through everything. You know, I'm looking around like, wow, how how are we missing everything? Everything falling, but it's, <laughs> it didn't touch us completely. So that was the first little, like, mile or so. And then the truck kept spiraling out of control. It's like it stopped for a moment, but it was still spiraling. And then it happened again where the walls started coming down. So it was like a one phase of the walls coming down, a second phase of the walls coming down. So they was com coming all over the place, but we were still swerving around things and everything was missing us. And all along the way, the children weren't, weren't you know, getting upset. They weren't panicking or anything. Everybody was calm. It was like I was the only one awake looking around like, do y'all see this happening? So anyway, we kept driving. And then finally, the truck had hit like a barricade. And I remember it was a bridge and it was a barricade of just rocks and boulders and things that was right there mm. under the bridge that was blocking that. The big transfer truck finally ran into it and stopped it from spiraling. So as we were coming up on it, of course, you know, like cars jam into each other whenever they're trying to press on brakes and things. So I was like, oh, God, we need to stop the car. So I reached from the back, guys, and and I forgot this part. I think I was telling you to grab the wheel. All right. I was telling you to grab the wheel, and I think I think that's how it was being controlled a little bit. Like nobody was in the driver's seat, but you reached over just with one hand, so calm and was like, "Okay, we're going through it. We're moving around all this stuff. You know, it's not hitting us, but we were right. calm anyway." So when this truck finally stopped spiraling out of control. And we knew we had to stop. I had to reach all the way from the third row just to put my hand down on the brakes in the front. And that stopped us. So we finally stopped. But then I happened to look back and I was like, oh, my gosh, all these other cars are zooming up, you know, um, about to hit us. That what I, That's what I was thinking. It was going to hit us. But actually, the cars never hit us. They piled up, but they piled up on uh, along. The interstate and on top of each other, but nothing hit us. Nothing. Right. Then all of a sudden, a helicopter that said like Channel 2 Action News had swooped down and picked us up. Picked us up in the car um, because, you know, well, if you've seen our truck, we have the, the roof, the rails on like top the of the car. The so the tech. airplane came out of nowhere, y'all. Channel 2 Action News swooped us up grabbed us by the rails of the car and was like lift, lifted us up over the bridge and flew us over to my, my parents' house. Mm. So it was just, it was just so amazing. Like to see that happening. We got to my parents' house for some reason, they were already there rejoicing and things. And we came in the house like, we got to tell y'all what happened. There was this big accident and everything. Um, so we stayed there for a while and then we left and we went back up the interstate the same way that we was coming down, we came back up that same way. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's that's something that's portraying something in a way that the same road that we've been going down, we're still going to have to go back up that same road probably to help people mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, 
So then we came back up that same road and we stopped at the scene where the accident had happened and people had already started laying out crosses. You know, mm. when people pass away on the side of the road, they lay across, they start right. laying flowers and things right. like that. Right. People had already started making it a burial scene. And I was like, I, I kept thinking like, how, how, why, how fast did this happen? How are people getting out here so fast? And all of a sudden we were looking at all the people um, that had got involved in the accident and it was, it was married people. It was couples. And it looks like it looked like everyone had been to a wedding that day. Um, they were dressed up. There were a lot of women in wedding dresses and just, you know, very formal attire. And then finally, um, when we were walking around looking at things, there was I think there was a woman that walked there was a woman that walked up to us and uh, I think her husband or either her father or someone had died in the um, in the accident and mm. she gave us something in an envelope and it was big it was it was a number <laughs> on it that's all I'm gonna say it was a very large number on it and um, of course that's where it ended she gave it to us and it was just it was just like a pleasant like surprise we we were surprised, but then at the same time, we was like, oh, you know, thank you. Like, we were just grateful for everything that happened. So we know for a fact that with me having that dream and Rodney came, I told him that next day and he told me, you know what? I had just prayed to God that he showed me everything that he had been showing me to you. And I was like, well, this was just amazing. I had to write it down and everything. And that just goes to show that. Um, from that point on, we knew that our ministry was going to be focused on millennial couples, married couples, just telling people um, about our experiences, about our testimony that we've been through. We've only been married seven years, y'all, but in these seven years, we've been together a, a sum of 10 years since college. And we've been through a whole lot of things that we can just, you know, uh, testify about to people and, uh, you know, keep keep other people motivated and keep them um, wanting to mend things in their relationships and in their marriages because we're just seeing too many, you know, millennial couples, young couples, young and old that are either not, not becoming more committed to each other. Um, the communication is just off, you know, and all these things are normal. It's normal for everything not to be perfect in your marriage. But if you make little perfect changes, little strides um, to um, better your relationship, then it can be, to some some level, it can be perfect. It can be bliss. It can yeah. be beautiful. And then, I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. So I'll say one of the things that I see, and especially in, um, in millennials, is that when, when whenever they get committed, they get married. The first sign of, of hurt or first sign of something, some bad news or something bad happening, they immediately try to get away from it, right? Mm -hmm. And and I tell you this: in life itself, you always gonna have to go through something, whether you're single, whether whether you're married, hey, right? Hey, And you just can't run away from those things in life, especially with your um, with your mate. Your mate is your hey, three. Look at all these people. You know, your mate is somebody that you're supposed to help along, whether it's your wife or your husband. We we help each other through the process, right? Mm -hmm. Um, without her, I wouldn't be who I am today, and without me, she wouldn't be Same. who she is today, right? So we 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 are in it together, right? Um, but most importantly, and, and I'm speaking from a, from a man's perspective, my wife can speak to you as a wife, but man, we have to, we have to get more diligent in our walk with God, man. Um, meaning that since we are the head of the household, we must operate in excellence at all times, right? Because your kids and your wife are watching you. You're like the first step in everything, right? And as you go, they start believing in themselves even more, right? Because you're operating in spirit. Cause I can remember when we first got married, I mean, I always loved God. I was in tune with God, right? But there were a lot of times she didn't see me operate in God, right? Make decisions, operating with God, consulting with God, or just seeing me pray, seeing me worship God. But as we, you know, we got married, we stayed married. And as I got more mature and, and you know, in my walk with Christ, they got her excited because she's seen these gifts in me that people talk about on the movies manifest in my life. And she's like, I know this boy wasn't doing this the other day. You know what I'm saying? Right. For example... And you know, a lot of people don't know. Um, I don't like. I, I I don't do it. You know, I don't. I don't use this gift in a way that many people use it. But I use it more intimately with God and in my household, or whenever it's needed, right? But I never had the gift of tongues, right? Until maybe two months ago, 
Mm-hmm. And and I knew God would give it to me because I kept hearing the utterance of it whenever I was praying at night or when I was praying in my prayer closet, whenever I was meditating with God. And I'm like, what is this? What is this language that's coming upon me? And God said, I'm going to give it to you. But I didn't know how. But I end up joining the church that I am now with um, Word of Faith, right? And through them, I had, oh my God. I mean, that's another, I ain't going to go on that. That's another testimony in itself. Oh, right? But. But in it, in that, I had got the gift of con- the, the gift of tongues through that ministry, and I, when I tell you the Holy Spirit was on me so strong, my wife she when I came downstairs she was looking at me like what in the world? Well, the ministry brought it out of you. Yeah, that, you know the gift was given by God. Yeah, yeah, and the gift was given by God. But that in itself is a testimony. God has given me so many gifts within me because God entrusts me with it, and God knows I'm going to need those tools in order to manifest His word. And to the people that God has called me to, right? Mm-hmm. So I say that to say this, right? Millennials, we got to stop trying to run away from our problems. Instead of running away, we must go through them, yes. right? Because there's the testimony in you going through it instead of trying to run around it. Because if you run around it, you're going to have to come back and do it again, right? Lord. So why not go through it the first time the right way, right? And just believe in God, man, because I lost my job. I've, went, I've been through bankruptcy, right? Mm-hmm. I almost... You know, almost, you know, I, I, I ain't going to say almost, but I felt like my marriage was going down the hill, right? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, right, because of the trust and the faith that we had in each other, yes. divorce never came up, right? right? And we stuck through it, even though your mind is telling you one thing, because that's right. how the devil right. can, can, you know, can get you all sidetracked to make you think that, hey, this is about to be over. And, uh, and, 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 and he'll have you speaking stuff out of your mouth right. and believing it and things. And that, and that just curses your marriage when right, you speak right. those evil, harsh things. <clears throat> Upon yourself, upon your spouse, upon your marriage. Right. Uh, like, even when you talk bad, you know, I understand girls, women, we love to have our girl talk and everything, but we have to be careful of what we put out in the open because it's still spiritual right. warfare out right. here. Right. So, whatever you put in the atmosphere is going to come back to you in some form or fashion. So, you have to speak highly of yourself, speak highly of your marriage and of your husband. Um, or, you know, it's, it's just going to, just going to, uh, you know, bring more forth more uh, what demonic spirits and things to like tear you down, and then after a while you're gonna start believing those harsh things that you've been saying. Cause I know, like, um, like he said, we went through a lot of spaces where we were ang- angry at each other. And we would hit below the belt. You know, we mm-hmm. would say those things out loud, saying, you know, if this doesn't get right, we just not gonna be together, right. or we just gonna get a divorce and things like that. We had to stop cursing our marriage by saying those types of things to each other. And, you know, I, I went through a depression phase, um, not knowing it, you know, women, we get so caught up in just doing our motherly duties, but then we don't take care of our mental health. Mm-hmm. And actually, when, at, at the end of the day, whenever I was done doing stuff with the kids and things, I was so unhappy with myself, unhappy with how we were doing and things like that. And, you know, our third child is even a, a testimony. You know, we thought about giving Oof. him up, like just not even having... A third abortion. child. Yeah. So, you know, and, and God turned that off. I really don't think we would have ever went through with that. But just, just, the, the just the fact that the devil can get you that to that point to where you are thinking those evil thoughts about mm-hmm. yourself. It's just like being suicidal. You're thinking these thoughts constantly, not knowing where those little words are coming from. And they're just constantly tearing you down. So, you know, there had to be a big shift and a big change in us. And, of course, that happened. And um, and I'm just so glad that we obeyed the uh, the warning signs and and got ourselves together. Right, and 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 also whenever things get hard, man, I'm gonna be honest with you. Especially when you're walking with God and you know you're walking in with God at all times, especially upon His uh, upon His will. When things get hard, that's just a, a testament that God is with you, right? Because if you're going through something, that means God is taking you through a test, right? And the test itself is going to teach you something that God's going to need you to do in the future, right? Mm-hmm. So God can't have you in a ministry or have you over people or have you in a high place of authority or having you just doing his works without a test. You have to go through a test, right? And then the greater the test, guess what? The greater the anointing and the greater the responsibility God's going to have over your life, right? Mm-hmm. So when you see a test, have joy. Speak positive. Be excited because God is doing something in you. So don't think because you're going through something, you're doing something wrong. No. I, I, I can remember some of the greatest times I was living right I mean, I was living on a straight and narrow, and boom, something happens. I'm like, Lord, why? But then God said, hey, remember, I am with you at all times. I have plans to prosper you, not to harm you, right? Jeremiah 29 and 11. So listen, remember that. 
Amen. Remember that. So don't think every test is something bad or a bad sign that you're going down the, right, the wrong path. Right. Some test means that you're going down the right path, right? Yes. And you got to believe and know that God is with you. He's going to, God is your orchestrator, right? God is going to take you through something and he would never put you through nothing that you cannot bury yourself, right? So remember that, right? And honestly, if you guys can just, if, if we can make a movie of our life, which it is a plan of mine in the future, whatever that's going to be, right? Aww. If we have a, we, we can make a movie of our life, I promise you it, it'll be a, a top seller because some of the things that we went through and some of the things we said to each other, some of the things we did intentionally, mm -hmm. right? Out of, out of this, strictly out of letting the devil, you know, the devil operate in us, right? Yep. You guys will be uh, shocked in how we even still are together today, right? And a lot of the things my, our families don't know. They don't know a little bit of it, you know, but they don't know a lot of the things, right? They don't know the things behind the scene that we experience, they right? They only know us as they little babies, right, you know, right. before we left the house and things. And, you know, that's that's part of marriage as well. Growing up, getting out of your parents' uh, home and yeah. learning to live together. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And also, listen, and also one of the most important things in a marriage is that many people misinterpret or don't do it all, right? And we learn too is that, you cannot express the things that's going on in your marriage to family or friends or any type of relative, right? Because naturally, family or friends that has known somebody longer than you know your spouse, whether husband or wife, right? They're going to tend to side with that person, even though that person may, even though that person may have been the wrong, the one, the person in the wrong at that time, right? So you need to cherish your 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 words, keep it right, and go to God, right? Now, I'm not saying don't have anybody you can go to and vent to. Everybody right. needs somebody need to Everybody talk to, right? Somebody. We are human. So, but you got to find somebody that you can trust, right? That has a covenant somebody. not only with you, but also with God himself. Mm -hmm. And they got to have a relationship with God, especially where you are, right? So you can't let everybody in because some people are going to tear down your marriage and they'll be listening. They'll give you counseling. They'll give you advice. But behind the scenes, they're praying against you, mm -hmm. right? And you cannot allow that, man. Mm -hmm. So listen. In this season, and I'm just going to give you guys a revelation. In this season, God is wanting us, and I, and I think I made a video about this today, but God is wanting us to make, there's only going, only going to be two paths starting in the year of 2021, right? The first path is destruction. The second path is reconstruction, right? And I'm going to break it down a little bit more to you. The path of de destruction is meaning that you're going to take on the ways of the world. You're going to see what the world is doing. You're going to trust the political leaders. You're going to trust people that is in power over God, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to do the things outside of God's will. And that's going to leave you, lead you down a path of destruction. And God is not going to do it. You're going to do it yourself, right? Because of your choices. Every choice has a consequence, right? But every choice, some consequences are worse than others, right? Mm -hmm. So no matter what side you choose, there's going to be a consequence. But destruction is going to be down when you choose the ways of the world, the ways of the devil, right? And his plan, and his plan for the world, right? right? But I'm praying that you guys have discernment, increased discernment over this time that is coming up because you're going to need it, right? Because the church is getting attacked. It's getting attacked even more, right? And um, And also the second path is that the path of reconstruction is meaning God is going to take the people who sacrificed for him, yes. who's doing his will, doing the purposes that he has set forth upon your life, right? And he's going to bless you, especially if you have a business that is doing it within his will, yes. especially if you sacrifice or you're building something in this season. And no matter what it may look like, right now it may look cloudy, it may look weary, you might be making $20 a month, $100 a month, right? right? But God is saying that in this season, you might be making $10. You need to prepare for the increase, meaning get your systems in place, your infrastructure, your structures in place to be able to take on the increased um, amount of production that's going to come amongst small businesses, right? Because these corporate jobs, they're going to become very, very, very depleted, right, as they come, right? Because the, the world is changing. Technology is going to take over the human's body, right? Not the body, but the human, um, the human way of doing things. They're not going to need us to do these things, right? Mm -hmm. The technology is going to take over. So... You got to be able to choose the sides you want, right? But I'm choosing the side of reconstruction because God has been doing something right. amazing in me, right? right? So I'm telling you today as a warning Amen. to the body of Christ that you got to make a choice, right? You got to make a choice, right? And even though COVID is here, God is still going to bless us. Don't let this, this time think make you think that nothing is going to come out of this, right? Yes. And God has blessed us. We made the most money this year yeah. we ever have in a it pandemic. We bought our house in a pandemic. We invested more money in our business during the pandemic, right? And God is just seeing who's going to trust him and continue to build in this season, right? Mm -hmm. And I pray that it is you because if you have, God is going to bless you more than right. you can think, right? So get ready, right? Get ready. And most important part, if he blesses you, don't just bless yourself with it. Bless, bless others me. so you can continue to get blessed upon your will of your life, right? Amen. And listen, so, hey, man, we're excited 
again, for the people that, that are tuned in, you guys didn't hear, but listen, share this live with family, friends, and relatives. We have, share it with your church, because I yeah. know all the churches have, you know, some type of ministry for singles, for couples. Mm -hmm. Share, 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 share. This, this is a ministry that we want to just mm -hmm. reach as many people as possible to Hallelujah. build thriving marriages, <laughs> especially for millennials. Right. Look, we, we're in our 30s, man. We're both 32. With 32, what it do? Okay, so we are really trying to get the message out that marriage can still be beautiful. If you just work at it, if you um, just give it your all each and every day. Right. Set yourself up for success, you know, by, by doing different, trying different things to open up those lines of communication right. and intimacy and talk about and, finances. <clears throat> lay it all out there. Lay it all out but there. But it's just, it's just ways that you can, you can get it done, but it, and, it um, can happen. And honestly, I'm going to be real with you, man. Um, I didn't want to charge for this event, but I had to because it takes money to create things, right? So um, it's a small amount. It's not going to break your pockets, right? This is just like you invest in your sowing a seed into God as you sowing a seed into your relationship, right? That God can take over your relationship and do what he wants to do in your life, right? Not what you want to do, right? So like I said, for the people that just tune in, because we're about to cut this in a second, is that, listen, this is the event is called Love Theory Relationship Panel on behalf of God's Plan Ministries, right? And we got an a awesome group of panelists that are anointed by God, but yet they still have fun, right? They love God, but they have fun. And they're going to give you some raw truth and some give information you can take back to apply to your relationships, whether you're single, you're married, you're engaged, or if you're looking. Come anyways, you know? Come. So just come, just come, just come. So listen, um, the tickets are sold on Eventbrite, right? For an individual, it's $20. For couples, it's $35, right? So tune in. Come with us, right? And we're going to have guest solos. Um, 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 Jeffrey Golden for Sunday's Best. He's going to give us a solo for five or ten minutes yes. in the beginning. He's going to set the atmosphere, get us get us anointed, get us ready, bring the Holy Spirit in, bring him into this presence of this live. It's a virtual event, so it's not in person, so you still cope. It's free. You're all right, all right? Mm -hmm. So if, 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 if you catch COVID through the phone, it's your fault, not mine. So listen, <laughs> but no, they're not all jokes. But um, and we're gonna have also Michael Stampley and Heidi Stampley. Um, they are a um a power couple themselves. Michael Stampley is a world renowned gospel singer. He's gonna be there. He's gonna get some substance. He's his very wife, excited. His wife about is it. also an author. A right, uh, right. A widely known cook. They have have thriving cooking businesses they're and entrepreneurs, restaurants, authors. entrepreneurs. Yeah, and she's also a songwriter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and then also we're gonna have Dr. Adam Wintart and and his wife. Um. They're going to be on as well. Um, Dr. Tart is an author, minister, uh, celebrity, uh, psychologist. You've probably seen him on a bunch of networks, right? But he's awesome. He's true. He's loving. He's kind. So tune in, guys. Don't miss this. This is December 22nd at 7 p.m. You can go to Eventbrite to tune in. Also, you can go to our website at www.gpatrends.com. Also, yes. there's a link there. Go on the events. Events tab. And, and events tab and click the link, right? We have a new website um, coming out too, so stay tuned to that. We're going to do some little upgrades and nuances on it. But, hey, I'm excited, man. I love you guys. Hey, listen, follow our pages if you're not following us, right? If you need some sound information, we're always willing. We mentor. We counsel. We do it all, right? And we're doing it based off our experience. We're not the we, you know, we're not scholars in it, right? But we're gonna give you some good substance, right? right. So hey, if you need anything, reach out to us. Again, the email is um, uh, God's Plan Men at gmail .com. You can you can find that out on on our God's Plan um, website as well, God's Plan Facebook page, and God's Plan on um, Instagram as well. Yes. So hey, we love you guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Share this live. Send it to family relatives. Send it to your church. Let them know about us. Hey. This is not the last of us. You're going to see some more information coming about about this event. So stay tuned. Keep your eyes open and trust God in everything that you do. Yes. Hey, we love you. God loves you more. And stay tuned. Yes. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.